That's a memo. Now for the top story tonight, we continue our analysis with the purveyor of DickMorris.com, one of the best political websites in the country. Mr. Morris knows a lot about John Podesta. First of all, you've gotten personally attacked yourself by the smear machine, so you know what I'm talking about here. Second of all, the Nixon White House had an attack team, right, working out of the White House. Yep. Got the Clinton speech. people, so you've said, and others who worked for Bill Clinton, had an attack team. I call them the secret police. Do they work out of the White House? Yes. Okay. So you had two presidents that we know of on the record with attack teams working out of Pennsylvania Avenue. But now, they don't have to do that anymore. They can work off a website, right. and the White House doesn't have to be involved. And I can't make any accusations, and I don't want you either, <laughs> because we don't know whether Obama knows anything about this. But Podesta has access to Obama. Sure. Clearly, what you're looking at here is, is a, a tech team that developed during the Clinton administration. Uh, as a response to impeachment and as a response to Paula Jones and all of the other scandals and accusations to which he was subject. And uh, it was an opposition that really developed in the last three or four years. When Podesta of the was Clinton there, Chief of Staff, right? Well, it predates that. When Podesta was earning his spurs, his job was covering for Hillary in the Travelgate scandal. He said Hillary was just a bystander who observed the dismantling of the travel office. The special prosecutor found that she caused the firings, but didn't indict her because he couldn't prove she knew that she was causing the firings. And then when the Lewinsky scandal broke, it was Podesta that went to Bill Richardson, the incoming UN ambassador, who now is under FBI investigation for something else, and said, please hire Monica Lewinsky. And this was when Lewinsky was maintaining there was no affair. And a lot of people have interpreted that as, in effect, hush money. Lewinsky turned down the job, and Podesta was the go-between. So Podesta, you know, you, you had McClarty, who was the first head of the Clinton administration. He kind of was from Clinton's boyhood. He's I was a good guy, Mac McClarty. I too. was kind of from the governorship, and our focus was legislation. Erskine Bowles was kind of from the business community, and his focus was balancing the budget. But Podesta was an attack dog. Podesta came from the scandal defense um, over Lewinsky and over the uh, Travelgate stuff, and now he's leading the attack. And the whole idea is to do to you and everybody else what they did to Ken Starr, which is uh, besmirch you as individuals, undermine your credibility, uh, so that you're not a credible source of information. Right. Marginalize you. And given your ratings, you need some marginalization. Well, absolutely. I'm a big threat to them, but it's not just me. I mean, if you go to this Think Progress website, anybody who disagrees with Barack Obama in the public eye yeah. gets smeared and slimed. Sure. And then, the more powerful you are, the more they come after you. Yeah. They'll go after your sponsors, they'll go at your house, they'll go after your family. Now, sure. I'm saying to myself, this is not what America is supposed to be. But in the last analysis, Bill, and here I may disagree with you a little bit, I think they're largely impotent. I think that if a talk, if somebody in your position let, or Limbaugh right, but let me says something you crazy, Alone then you're going to get hurt. they are. But you're not making the link to NBC General Electric. Yeah, that's true. You're right. And I hate to say that, Marsh. You know how much that <laughs> pains me. Alone, they're insects. Yeah. Okay? But they have a relationship with N, the National Broadcasting Corporation. Right. Okay? Right. That now elevates their power yeah. and gives them access to millions of Americans who don't know what's going on. What disturbed me about the Clinton administration in the last couple of years, who really caused my break with, with Hillary, because she was basically in charge of that whole stuff, was how they used the White House and used the power of the presidency to release Linda Tripp's personnel file, sure. and send out investigators, discredit Lewinsky as a stalker, and all that and stuff. And Podesta was right in the and middle Podesta all was of that. Right, right in the center okay. of that. But, but, but I don't want to do a history lesson But I don't lesson see here. that happening now with Obama. I he, hope not. He, he might do it. I don't think he but will. This is not, I'm, I'm going to say Barack Obama wouldn't do something like that. This is not yet a plumber's operation. And until they actually control the White House, they don't have that much power unless we give them an opening. Okay, but here's the deal, all right? This smear merchant character assassin, John Podesta, can pick up the phone today, and who can he get on the phone? Obama. Okay. All of Obama's men know what this guy is doing. They know exactly what he's doing. Okay. There's another Have you link. heard a critical word from anybody on the left against John Podesta and his tactics? Have you heard no, one? No. There's another link, Rahm Emanuel. Emanuel, but, I, no, but that's skeptic. I, I no, don't want to hammer no, Emanuel. No, but I'm describing his role in the Clinton White House. I know he was in a Emanuel, Emanuel was in touch with Carville, 
who on the outside was orchestrating a lot of the attacks, particularly through Larry Flint. The, uh, the Yeah, yeah, the, but uh, I'm not going any further than the facts take me. What I told the audience and what I told you and what we just discussed here, 100% factual, no conjecture, that's reality. It's a huge story. Nobody has put the pieces together but us. They don't want dissent. They don't want criticism. And if you do it, they'll get you. I mean, Not America. To put it in the context, I you rough, talk I on the air for hours seconds. every day. You make one misstep out of hundreds of days, and they're all over you. Right. Well, we'll give as good as we get, Mars. Check his website out. Next on the rundown, Frank Luntz wired up the folks last night to listen to the Obama press conference. We'll show you what happened. And later, is some of the criticism being leveled against President Obama unfair? Dennis Miller will weigh in on that upcoming.